Welcome back, folks. Today we're going to be doing the actual quest line that comes with the event Folktale Spring. When you log back into the game, it's going to tell you that you need to go and talk to Theophilus. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but you just get a quest called Folktale Battles. If you want to actually look at it, it says the Crows Arena apparently is organizing Folktale Battles. The contact person is a guy called Theophilus. I'll try to go talk to him. I'm pretty sure he's going to be in the bar. Usually they are. So I'm going to head back to the bar and I will see you guys in a second. All right, once you get to the bar, it's going to be in the same area that the last Crows Arena event was. He's not going to be in the same spot. The other guy was over here. He's going to be wearing the new Saturn suit from the Battle Pass, and he's just standing right here, just behind where the Shaman is, usually, if you're doing the main story quest. So, let's talk to him. Well met, young sir. Be it a stalker, bandit, or a member of any clan who comes up to me, it matters not. The stranger speaks in a sing-song tone, as if pretending to be a medieval storyteller. They call me Theophilus. The good people know me as the organizer of truly one-of-a-kind battles in Crows Arena. What makes it so one of a kind? I've managed to assemble a truly impressive band of opponents. These beasts and monsters are something out of ancient Russian folktale. Max Crow himself fears them. He didn't dare take on the mentorship of them. I've had to tame this zoo myself. Now they're ready to take down anyone. You're good at spinning tales, Theophilus. After that introduction, are you proposing that I fight your folktale zoo? People think that Max Crow is the one running the show, and that I'm just here as a wandering guest. They just let me rent the arena for a little while, nothing big, but I'll prove that I can put on just as good a show. There's one metric that my show is sure to outdo crows in. It'll be fantastical. Yeah, I'm a, you can tell them a couple things. I'm going to tell them, yeah, sure, that's an important metric for the arena fights. Hush, want to prove to me that you're a real gladiator. Uh, gladiator, what a bland word. No life to it. It's not fit for the land. It won't catch on here. Bogatier, that's the right word. Now we're talking. Are you a bogatier from the folktales of old? And you can tell them four things. Let's see. I'm going to tell them I'll bury monolith members six feet under with my bare hands. I'll build a palisade wall out of them. No hammer needed. Why don't I set up a little test? A simple contest. Kill monsters in the arena to prove your bogatier's prowess. As soon as I see the bright and mighty spark in you, then we can discuss pitting you against one of the special warriors. That ends folktale battles and we get kill the monsters. You tell them whatever you say. And we need to kill 500 mutants in the arena. So let's see what this new... So let's see what the new event looks like. Because it's it's kind of a just a reskinned crow's arena from what I can tell. To queue up for the event, you go to folktale spring and then up at the very top, you can click the event tab and click play down here all right so we got the 500 kills let's talk to this guy again well met young sir have you come with tidings to share or are you just eager to flap your gums well met i come with tidings i killed the mutants in great quantities just as you ordered very good were you sprinkled with the water of life aided by sorcerers fine fine don't give me that look i'm just kidding plus i don't want to get out of character since i set this whole folklore song and dance you said you had a band of special opponents for me and very soon, I shall introduce you to one of them. But for now, if I may be so bold, I'd like to see how you fight against other bogatiers like you. I expected something like this. Show me your mastery in duels, for if you have no equal, then you are truly worthy to take up arms against the monsters that I've tamed. That ends Monster Crusher, and we get bogatier on bogatier. Duels are duels I can handle, and we have to win two duel victories. Let's hop back in here and win some duels, and I will see you guys shortly. Okay, so we've won two duels now, and we're going to talk to Theophilus again or Theophilius, I don't know how you pronounce his name, whatever. Well met, friend. Rumor has it no one could best you in a recent duels. You slayed them all with your mighty. What do you use to fight? A gun, right? Well met, Theophilus. Verily in duels, I fought well. Uh, I'm starting to sound like you. Then you're ready. Now I shall tell you a gruesome story of your opponent, the first of the dreadful war band that I shall pitch you against. Get on with it. He was born amid the winds and endless expanse of the great depth that sprawls to the east of Pripyat. Theophilus, there is no great step near Pripyat. A cruel enemy, the taker of many lives. Those who stood against him were neither beaten nor shot. Nay, in his rage, he devoured them whole. Then he assembled a powerful band of similar beings, a fanged horde, with him as their Khan. Khan? The Khan of the Great Rat Horde. Ah, I see, like a giant rodent. No, Khan of the Great Rat Horde, like a giant rodent. Such terrible insolence. The Khan shall tear you to shred for such behavior. We'll see who ends up on top. Confident in your skills, Bogatir. Excellent, but don't be too hasty. You may do battle with the Khan whenever you wish, but perhaps you'd like to bolster your strength first. And how do I bolster my strength? I do more than breed monsters and arrange battles. Let's just say I also seek out and create special gear. Artifacts. No, not artifacts. That word isn't right. They seems foreign. Bogatir's relics. Relic is a Latin word, Theophilus. Would you stop ruining my fun? I said Bogatir's relics, so they're Bogatir's relics. One such relic is the Seven League Boots. They'll make you much easier to flee the con of the Great Rat Horde. Trust me, when you see the beast, you'll want to flee. And that ends Master of the Duel, and you get Plague of Rats. And we're going to say, tell me more about these boots. They may actually come in handy. First of all, you must know that the power of the Bogatir's relic is limited. It'll only be useful to you in battles that I organize in the arena. But you shouldn't underestimate their roles in these battles. If you change your mind about seeking one of them out, feel free to continue fighting without them. I get it, thanks for the warning. Now, what about these Seven League boots? Well, they're here, not far off. They were stolen from me by a dull witted stalker who helped me for a while with work in the arena. His name was Yasha Heel. He hangs around the bar. He's a good-for-nothing thief who doesn't deserve magic boots. He stole the magic boots from you just because? Your assistant betrayed you totally out of the blue? Well, the boots were his at one point. 
I took them from a scientist who gave them their bogatier qualities. He made them into real seven league boots, but he didn't appreciate that. He got upset saying no one should dare enchant his boots, a pox on him, the fool. He didn't realize the great deed I'd done. I see, so you're saying this is all your fault. Doesn't matter. What matters is the seven league boots can help you in the arena. You just need to convince Yasser to hand them over. He's a terrible coward, you know. He's afraid of his own shadow. He took the boots just to stand around and tremble in them. You can take advantage of that. And we get the quest seven league boots. Oh, wait, he may be in this uh, area right here. Let me check. Yasha's right here, up, right up top. Who are you? Listen, I'm not looking for a drink butter right now. Hit the road, whoever you are. Theophilus sent me. Are you his former assistant? That freak sent you? No, no, no. I don't want anything to do with him anymore. I don't want to be associated with him. He's nuts. He stole my boots, you know, and then some scientist enchanted them. I understand. It's an awkward situation. Speaking of, do you still have the boots? Why are you asking? They're my favorite boots. I'll have you know. Sure, they may just be an old pair of rubber boots, but they're really comfortable. When I first arrived in the zone, running around the swamps was just pure bliss. But now you don't wear them? What's it to you, huh? You're like Theophilus, aren't you? Also a little touched in the head, plotting something. Nope, you won't get one past me. I don't want anything to do with that Russian folklore-loving freak. He can weave himself a pair of bast shoes if he really needs more footwear. I need to take your boots, Yasha, the ones Theophilus enchanted. I'm not giving them up. They're mine. I tell you, mine. My boots, and I like them. I'm going to tell him, since he said he's a coward, I really need the boots. I'm willing to tear your legs off to get them. Oh, uh, that didn't work, so I'm going to tell him I can buy the boots off of him. So now he wants me to do some things. He needs 15 sprigs of chamomile and 15 pickles. Which I should have that, right? Okay, so we got his boots after buying them off of him with 15 pickles, 15 sprigs. And that ends a ransom for boots. And now we just go back down here and talk to this guy again to fight the con. So I'm going to tell him I wish to battle the con now. And let's go see what kind of bullshit this is. Okay. Well, he's not very... The boots definitely help. Where's the... Wait, where's the boss? Did the boss die? There he is. So you don't have to kill every little rat. You just got to kill the big boss. And if you're wearing those boots, it's uh, very easy to do. Talk to Theophilus. Unbelievable. The con of the great rat horde has been defeated. The dark cloud has descended over the steppe. The sky weeps for its con. And here is his killer, the bogatier, craving rewards and recognition. Enough waxing lyrical. I defeated your con and it was easier than expected. Con was the first. Other monsters are to follow. The more swelled your head gets over the tiny victory, the rustier grows your sword. Sure, defeating the rodent was a tiny victory indeed. Very funny. The next opponent is sure to impress you. How about you show him to me right now? Not so fast. You need to prepare. You are wrathful and strong in battle, I've noticed, but do you know how to be calculating? Do you know how to plan your tactics in advance? Can you properly prepare for battle? I think that deserves to be tested. Ask him in what way? Prove your sharpness of mind. Collect several anomalous modules during battle in the arena. Once I see that you're able to collect powerful modules, then we'll talk about your next battle. That ends routing the horde. We get three of the crates, 600 birch bark, 800 parts, 15,000 rubles and 1,600 season points for your battle pass. And we get the quest legendary modules. You tell them it's not chasing after rodents, but I can handle it. And you need to purchase any two modules in the arena. So let's queue up and do this. I will see you guys once we do that. All right, we are back. We have bought the two modules. It didn't matter what rarity the modules were. Any two modules work. So let's talk to him again. Well met, young sir. I guess I underestimated you. You have both strength and some brains in that head of yours. You were able to collect the necessary anomalous modules. I was. Does that mean we can discuss the next battle? I prepared a special combat scenario for you. You're still not ready to take on the next opponent of my folklore zoo, but this battle will be an excellent warm-up. However, even a bogatier can bungle a warm-up. Are you sure you don't want to obtain an additional bogatier's relic? What do you suggest I look for this time? The eight-mile pants? Very funny, in fact. What we're discussing is that shield. It may look like a normal piece of a wooden door, but trust me, the zone's anomalous energy that imbues it is capable of protecting the owner from bullet wounds. Hopefully it wasn't the door to an ancient outhouse. Alas, the miraculous shield was lost recently. I, uh, well, lost it in a card game with a stalker by the name of Ivana Shushka. I don't know how you pronounce that. That completes modules for every bogatier, and we get a bogatier's challenge. All right, so that's how you treat the bogatier's relics, like real treasures. All right, tell me more. And, or you can tell them I don't need a shield. I'm going to go ahead and get it, because why not? I don't want to hear it. So I gave in to a bad habit. It happens, right? And you know what? I had three queens. Who could have known he'd get a full house? 
So he won your shield. What exactly do you think we can do to get it back? He's a pretty smart fellow. He's close to his sister. Apparently he's toiling away here in the zone for the sake of her well-being. At least that's what he tells everyone. I think you can try and find the right approach to him, but if talking doesn't work, then what? Here, me and some friends of freedom mixed up these pills. He's always reaching for the flask that hangs from his belt. Try to find a way to surreptitiously slip the pills into the flask. Obviously, you'll have to distract him first. And what will they do to him? Mess with his head a little bit. He'll kill over and drool for a little while. It'll be a piece of cake and you can take the shield from him. If you can't figure out how to distract him, go to straight. He's a local poker hotshot. I've played him before. He might have some tips. Got it. Once you get the shield, it'll come in very handy in arena battles. But if you get sick of dealing with the situation, you can always come back and continue fighting without the shield. And that gives us the quest, that dude's shield. So he is going to be over here, I think, right? Or is he up top? He might be up top. This must be a translation error because the devs are terrible at their job and don't know how to fucking do this. This guy named Street is straight who they, he told you to go talk to to get tips about how to distract him you tell me you're straight aren't you the local poker hotshot i wanted to ask you about a stalker everyone calls that name he's a good player fun to play with loves risk wish he was at the table right now can you tell me anything interesting about him i need to make a deal with him about something hey i'm not an information desk why chat when you can play anyway i should invite him to play we totally get absorbed playing cards that's an idea if he's distracted by the game it'll definitely be able to slip his magic pills in his flask you say something nope must have misheard so you want him to play right i'll invite him so now we have to go and invite this guy, which it looks like he's going to be all the way over here on the stalker side of the bar. And he's going to be down bottom in the southeast corner. He's going to be down bottom in this house, just standing here. Straight was looking for you. He'd like to invite you to play some poker. Ah, man, great idea. Tell him I'll be there in five minutes. Okay, will do. Now we gotta go back and talk to Straight, tell him he's coming. That way, while he's distracted playing cards, we can slip these pills into his flask. He will be here soon. All right, have fun. I'll just watch the experts. Watch the game. They're playing one hand after another. The stakes get higher, the intensity grows. I'll get lucky this time. I'll definitely, ah, oh, damn, another eight of spades. Hands fly by one after the other. Straight and that guy knock out the third player and start going head to head. Their attention is totally fixed on the game. Focus on the game not paying attention, so you try to steal it. You unhook it from his belt, toss inside a few of the pills. Just as you return the flash of the belt, he grabs for it and takes a thirsty gulp. You barely made it. Continue watching the game. What's the matter, fella? You've gone kind of gray. You don't look so good. You gonna fold and leave the table? Clearly not okay. He thinks hard, then mumbles something incoherently. Eventually, he throws down his cards and wanders off somewhere. I guess that's a fold. My win and my jackpot. That ends the big game, and we get the Master Thief. I guess I should be going. Now we have to find where he passed out. He went back to where he was when you talked to him the first time. So let's go this way and talk to him again, or AKA steal his shit. Messed you up good. Take the shield. That ends the Master Thief. And now we're just going back to talk to, uh, what's his nut? And fight his special battle. I want to keep fighting, put me in the new battle. Whatever you say, Bogatier, it won't be an easy fight. I hope you can handle it. And this is called Mortal Kombat Win the Special Battle. It just seems to be a bunch of dogs and humans at the moment. I don't know if they're going to be in waves. It seems like it's wave based. Those guys had rocket launchers, I think. Now we have humans and bombs. with the boots from the first thing and oh we don't have the boots from the first one apparently anymore i thought we i thought we get to use them all of them but apparently not but we got the shield which helps immensely with the bullet damage so that's good third wave is going to be what an actual boss. Oh, he's just flashing.
Is he not dead? Yeah, he is dead. Now we've got more dogs. Which I'm going to take care of the dogs first. For the most part. Tuck into this cubby here. Apparently I'm still being shot. More big guys. More snipers. Lots of lag. Always fun times. I'm going to kill all but one of these guys. And then I'm going to hit the uh, box to get more meds. I don't want him to get too close to me and blow up because I would like to keep whittling them down and I don't want the second round to start or the next round to start I guess I should say let me get him all the way back here so that I can run and hit this box there we go Okay, he's got a fucking hammer, apparently. That he gets mad and just starts chasing you. Okay, and that's it. That, that's pretty easy, especially if you get the shield. So it's not too bad. Let's go talk to Theophilus again. Well met, that was magnificent carnage. Fantastical viewing. After that, the people just want more, you know? So let's give them what they want, right? Yeah, right you are, Bogatir. I've almost finished preparing the next unique opponent. While I sort out the final details, you head to the arena and win as many rounds as you can. Give the people something to cheer for. And that ends winner takes all and we get Bogatir's warm up. And we need five victories in the arena, which this could take a while. So I'm going to see you guys here in a little bit. All right, so we have completed the five wins and we are headed back to talk to Theophilus. Well met. A new opponent is waiting for you in the arena. Who is this time, Theophilus? Who do I get to kill? The arena is its home and it's the guardian of that home. Within its walls is incredibly powerful. If you enter the arena with it, you're trespassing in its home. You won't escape punishment. So what's the creature? Tremble in fear, Bogatir. Today you must face Domovoy, nimble, strong, and angry. That completes warmed up, and we get dealing with the Domovoy. Oh, is it Kuzja? No, it's not Kuzja or Nafanya. It's a powerful creature that will see you as its mortal enemy as soon as you step into its home. Will you risk doing just that? If yes, head to the arena. And tell him I'm ready to fight Domovoy. And here we go. Did I see a blood sucker? Oh, there's mines on the ground. Okay. Apparently I, you, I can't see the mines. I don't think I could see them then. Maybe I could see them and just didn't notice them. We'll see. Let's go back and do it again. What happens if I just don't leave this area? I do not see mines. Like, this has got to be a way that he's going to, like, reset or something, right? Like, I can't... There's no way you can just sit in here. Jesus. He's a fucking freedom member with a hound's XO.
He doesn't seem to be healing. Oh, I can see the mines now. Oh, it looks like you could shoot the mines if you really wanted to run around out there. Hold still. Just don't leave the starting zone, bro. Just stand here. He never actually comes in there. That's easy. Right, let's talk to Theophilus. You defeated Dumbo. Send it to the next life. I'm starting to think you may actually have a Bogatiers in your family tree. So far, you've fared better than anyone else against my folktale challenges. There's more where that came from. Who's the next creature in your menagerie? Not so fast. You're not ready for the next duel yet. You want to convince me otherwise? Well, then show me how you treat your gear. A true bogatier never does battle with a rusty, dull blade. What do I need to do exactly? I want to see how well you can sharpen your gear. Remember that line from Pushkin? 30 stalwart knights and three, all in mail, a gleaming bright. That's what I want to see. Mail, a gleaming bright. And that gives you three crates, 600 birch bark, a crate of each caliber SBP, Three combat peas, 15,000 rubles, two morphines, 1,600 season points, 800 parts, and two epinephrine. And you get the quest top gear. And you need to upgrade gear to level three. So if you're lucky, you can do this in one go. We're going to queue up and do that. And I will see you guys shortly. All right. So we've upgraded gear three times, which is just taking it from a white or a green to a blue to a blue. What You know, just progressing through the tiers in there. Let's talk to Theophilus again. Well met, noble bogatier. Glad I am. Truly glad for your success. You're certainly worthy of this arena. You're also worthy of the next difficult battle I prepared for you. A special battle. Don't try to surprise me. First, perhaps you'd rather obtain a bogatier's relic. I have something very special. A little humpback horseshoe. It grants the owner uncommon good luck, making it harder for the monsters to catch hold of them. You'll have less to fear from the monster's claws. So what's the catch? Did you lose the horseshoe at cards, or did someone steal it from you? What do you take me for? Do you think I'm totally wretched? I have the horseshoe. I can give it to you, but it needs to be charged a little. And that ends burnished armor, and we get back to battle. And you can tell him I need to charge the horseshoe. Sounds amazing. I'm willing to do it, or I don't need it. I'm going to tell him I'm going to do it. Just why not? My scientist friends and I were able to unlock the anomalous potential of the horseshoe, but alas, it lacks energy. I'd say it lacks the energy of its native land. Feed it that energy from, say, an Archae anomaly. Then the horseshoe will serve you in loyal battle, my friend. And that gives Little Humpback Horseshoe quest. And you tell, all right. And all we need to do is charge it in an Archae anomaly. So to charge the artifact for me as duty, I don't know if it's different for freedom and it's obviously going to be different for bandits. You can go to many places. It seems you can go up here in the bio area. You can go to the thermal area over here to the Northeast. There's one all the way over in the graveyard. That's a thermal area. I don't know if there's any down South. I think these may be the only three we're going to run up to here and try to charge this thing. I'm going to put on a science suit so that I don't have to worry about dying, but I will see you guys once we get there. All right, so we're up in the northeast where this thermal area is. We are going to run inside of it. And just coming in here seems to have progressed the quest. Now that we're in the middle here, it's actually starting to charge. You get an actual countdown there. It says you got to wait 13 more seconds or whatnot. I'm just going to get these artifacts that are randomly around here. And it looks like we're done. We can now head back to the, the bar, which I'm going to head back and I will see you guys here shortly. All right, we are back. Let's talk to him again. You charge little humpback source shoe. Congratulations. That means you're definitely ready for the next battle. You tell him I want to start the next battle. Be brave, Bogatier, because courage you will need. Enter the arena. And let's see who we got to fight. Brutal battle. Okay. This looks familiar from the last arena warm up. As far as the flaming boars. Oh, that is the boss. Okay. Well, that's a boss.
Just gonna kite him around here. Okay, these are the three boars from uh, the spring event slash, I think though, is in a, the winter event as well. It's been used a couple of times. You just got to kill the correct one, whichever one that is. Better to focus on one. Like if you've already got one low. Just in case. And if you tab target them, it shows up all their health bars. So you can kind of figure out which one you've already killed. If you always kill a new one, you're never going to find the boss. Like if you just keep killing the, the new ones that spawn in. Let's kill the snorks first. Keep some distance on the Keep some distance on the big boys. They'll technically take care of themselves. Reload this shoddy. They're actually not that tanky, so instead of getting hit by them, I'm actually just going to kill them. I could bait out their explosion, but I would rather just take care of them the, the real way so that I don't take extra damage. Plus, one may blow up the other ones and it may just one-shot me. I'm not sure. I don't want to have to do this again if I can help it. Okay, now we got the snork bosses. And they spawn illusions. Which you can one-shot the illusions with the shoddy, so... If you can, make sure to uh, reload before you hit zero. On your shoddy, because it takes longer to reload. If you run out completely. Not a lot, but it does take longer. I'm gonna continue to kite these bastards around. One of the bosses is dead. I guess you only had to kill one? Who knows? We're done. Well, Met Bogatier, things are going well for you. An epic could soon be written about your feats in the arena. Perhaps, but I've only faced two special opponents so far, and you promised me an entire zoo. The third enemy will soon be ready to face you. Trust me, this battle will be a surprise. But before letting you enter battle, I'd like to show you you have some backbone. Enter the arena and hold out for as many rounds as you can. That completes the quest I win again. You get three crates, 600 birch bark, 800 parts, another crate of each caliber SBP, 1,600 season points and 15,000 rubles, and we get the quest to the bitter end. And we just have to last 15 rounds in the arena. Most of the games do go the full 15 to 20 rounds, so that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Let's get back in there and get this out of the way, and I will see you guys shortly. Okay, so we've survived 15 rounds. You actually have to survive rounds in the event, so the big brawls at like rounds 5, 10, 15, they don't count because you're going to die most likely. But if you win your duels and you stay alive during the other rounds, those each count as surviving a round. So we're going to talk to Theophilus again. Is that the wind howling or is it the dark power and evil power? A power that the wind itself is yielded to. Are you ready for the new battle, Bogatir? What kind of battle, Theophilus? And what force are you harping on about? The power of Nightingale the robber. This is no mere brigand warlord. No, this is a true villain. Bringing of woe and terror. Only a Bogatir the likes of somebody could defeat it. Are you such a person? Are you brave enough to resist the Nightingale song? And that completes the quest stoic and you get the Nightingale saying. I'm not planning on running. I'll fight Nightingale the robber. I grow faint at the thought of hearing its awful song. Let's see if your heart leaps into your boots. Onwards, Bogatir. You tell him I'm ready, let's go. Let's see what we gotta do here. Same weapons again, it looks like. I'm just gonna try to keep a distance from him, actually, because he's just trying to walk right up on me with a PKP.
I hear the noise, but I don't... I don't know if the noise is actually doing something. Oh! If you're near the noise, it slows you down. Okay. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Just try not to be near the noise because it does put a slowing effect on you the whole time you're there. Let's talk to Theophilus again. Silence has descended upon the arena. The terrifying whistling has stopped. What can this mean? Has the evil villain met his doom at the hands of the brave Bogatir? Seems so. He'll whistle no more. You have the spirit and strength of a real Bogatir. You're the true hero of my folktale battles. I could write songs about you or a fable. Maybe I'll do that when I got time on my hands. Is that it? Of course not. Your efforts will be rewarded. For one thing, I'll have other enemies and challenges for you. I need some time to prepare them. I'll tell you when you can go back out into the arena. And that ends peace and quiet. We get six crates, 1,200 birch bark, two morphine, two epi, 1,600 parts, a crate of each caliber SBP, 30,000 rubles, three combat peas, five standard tools, and 3,200 season points. And we get the quest, put your feet up. All right, then set up more battles. These have been pretty fun. And now this is the end of week one. We just have to wait to week two to continue this quest. So I will see you guys once the second week comes out. Also, the Max Crow quest line is the one from the last Crow's Arena. So I already have videos up on that if you want to go watch them, if you're still doing that. I can't redo that quest because I've done it already. So... But with that being said, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a good one, and I will catch you all in the next one when the week two quest line drops. Till then, y'all take it easy.